time to start polishing! So, uh, this is what we're looking at. It's at the first stage of polishing, but otherwise, it's looking nice. So if you look here, it's having some issues. I mean that the brow plate is sticking out further than the visor, and that's just making it hard for the whole thing to lift up. You know, I'm really beginning to, beginning to understand why these types of helmets uh, only started appearing real late. They're a lot more complicated than they look. Like, <laughs> So now I'm just going to file off the edges to make them all nice and smooth and everything so it's not all jaggedy and grinder sharp. All I'm doing now, some sandpaper and I'm sanding this. Now I'm going to use some black paint for the inside, just kind of keep it from rusting and make it look all nice and pretty. Now I'm just going to use the center punch to put little divots where I'm going to drill the holes. Now I'm going to use my punch and put in some smaller holes around the brow because that because with this i am using the small little nails because the, the uh, brow cover and everything is going to be going over this so that's where the rivet's going to be and just can't afford you can't afford to have the really big uh more decorative rivets like there will be around here that looks about all right 27 all right on some of these like here, you can see the real big kind of decorative rivets on there, which is fine because nothing is going over there. However, like around here, over the brow plate, and then there on the side, they need to be much smaller. So I'm using roofing nails like I would for like coat plates or something. Yeah, lovely. I'm going to do it to the rest of them. Since we're using the larger, more decorative rivets, we've got to use this stake here. Now this stake has a little divot right put in it, and that's just rivet, uh, rivet head sized. So, rivet goes on there, like that. You got to take a washer, with that on over it, gotta give it a bigger sort of head. And then repeat it over just like a normal rivet. Alright, now we're putting in the final rivets. This is exciting. Well, not quite final, but close to. Ladies and gentlemen, the rivers are still pretty stiff. Check that out. <laughs> 
Hey there, it's me again, John. Uh, if you've been following the videos, you've seen me work on the, on the clothes helmet for a while now. And the thing is, is that I made that all on, uh, all in about a week or so. And I got it to the stage it is now, which is like that, in that time thing. Let me fill you in on my plight. So I made that, and I made all my armor in a workshop at my parents' house where I lived until recently, because recently, as in mm, August or so, I moved a little ways away to start college. And so now I'm living, uh, I am living on a second floor apartment. And obviously that does not lend itself to, uh, metal shaping very much. So I've been doing other things with my time, such as painting and sewing and, you know, that sort of thing. The thing about the helmet is that, you know, it's 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 not so bad. It's, it's a decent helmet, but I, I, I'm not entirely happy with it. There are some things that I'd like to do better on it. And I compared it to the original with uh, using a online Photoshop to just compare different angles and whatnot. And I feel like there's things that I could just make much closer and I think would make me much happier but it'll also make the helmet function better. So you might have to bear with me a little while because I'm not able to get back to that workshop very often considering I don't have a vehicle to get back there. It's over an hour away by car. So you might have to bear with me if uh, some of these parts are a little delayed. So I'm... yeah, so thank you for your patience. 